혹시 박자원이라는 무슨 노래인지 아세요? 그리고 너무 많이 Hello friends, welcome to my Notion tour. My setup, I guess if I were to describe it, it would be very simple. And the theme of my Notion setup is a cafe. Hence, it is called Cafe Ellie. And I know it's kind of cheesy, but that's my Notion theme. And maybe because I've been dreaming of owning a small cafe someday. So this is kind of just a mood board or a manifestation of that dream. First, I have here my cover photo, which I got from Pinterest. So, by the way, all photos here are from my Pinterest and even my profile photo. And I arranged everything in pages except for the clock, calendar, and reminder so I can easily navigate it. I just want to give credit as well for the templates that I'm using. So this is a combination of Brianna Kwan and Moshi Studios templates. To start with my Notion tour, I have here my profile photo which is an anime illustration and the cover photo is again from Pinterest. So I have here my header which says come in we're open. It's kind of cheesy but yes that's it so it would pass the cafe themed Notion page. All in all, I have three columns. In the first column, I have my calendar. So this is actually a calendar. As you can see, if you click on the letter M, it will give you an overview of the month and then weeks, days, and agenda. So this is my default display because it's more neat for me. And this is actually my Google Calendar and I synced it using this widget from Indify. It is currently my favorite widget for Notion and I also discovered it through Julie of Moshi Studios from her own template. I'm just gonna show you quickly how to paste a widget using the embed tool. So first, we're going to Indify's official website. So first, you have to sign in with your Google account and then you're going to sync your Google Calendar to your Notion page. This will automatically refresh and update your calendar. I will show you my default view which is this one. You can also set the background color so mine is this light brown because it goes with my theme which is cafe and brown neutrals. And for the border color, I chose this one in darker brown. As you can see, this is what it looks like. There are no events here because this is just an empty calendar. And then you're going to copy the link here at the bottom of the page.
and then below my schedule i have here my daily reminders tab so i could easily see it in my home page i have here my playlist of the week so this is my current lss and this playlist is currently on loop in my spotify account so i just decided to embed it as well so you just have to follow the same process a while ago as i did in the calendar In the second column, I have my clock, which I also customized using the Indify website. And I'm going to show it to you really quickly. Here, you can actually change the analog what to whatever you want. But I just prefer this one on planets because it looks so cute. You can change the background color and the clock color. So for example, if you want the background to be yellow, you can do that, but I'm going to change it back to white. Next, we have the weekly planner. Here is my latest weekly planner and what I like about it is that you can actually place or paste the due date. So for example, you have to pass it by tomorrow. So remind tomorrow at 9 a.m. or you can also change the time. So tomorrow at 11 a.m. you will be notified here in all updates. There will be a red notification here so that you will be annoyed and then you will be forced to click the updates for your reminders. Next is my workspace. I have here my med school workspace and this is probably my favorite page because it's very functional for me and I have three tabs in total. The first one I have here my backlogs. I wasn't supposed to share this to you guys because if you can see the status, I only finished reading three topics. But anyways, these are all the topics that I have to read and here's the subject and it's all surgery because I'm currently on my surgery rotation. If you hover to the right, you'll see the pending status which is kind of not pleasing to the eye because as you can see, I only completed a few topics. And then the next column is the week number. Next, I have here my deadline. So this is very useful because in our surgery rotation, there are a lot of things that we should pass, like endorsement files, read them, reporting, and of course, our exams for the week. I arrange it in a timeline view because it's easier that way and it's not really overwhelming to look at for me. So going back, to my workspace or my med school workspace. I have here the topics that I think I should review again, but I guess I have to update it. I also have a countdown till our mental health break, so I also use the Indify website for this one. And I have here my Pomodoro timer and study playlist. So this is currently my favorite playlist for studying. Back to the home page under my YouTube workspace. Here are my video ideas, so it is arranged in an inline table view. This is probably my favorite option in Notion because it's easy and you can customize it to your liking. Here's a separate planner for this particular video, which is this vlog. What I do whenever I film daily vlogs is that I plan it out, so it's like I'm still doing a daily planning thing. I like it that way so I won't get lost and sometimes I have ideas or specific angle in mind and then I forget them later so it's really better if I take notes. Next, I have this finance tab. So this is my weekly expenses page and what I really like about this table is it can automatically calculate your spending or whatever it is that you want to compute. So for example, your grades, you can easily calculate the total grade or total amount. So it's like an Excel but in a more simplified version, I guess. 
for my wish list, I have here all the things that I want and need to buy and I just classify them if they are important or if I'm just wasting my money. Thankfully, almost everything here is for the betterment of my vlogs. So down to the last column, I have here a quote that changes every time you refresh the page. So it's really nice because all the quotes here are motivational and it also serves as a reminder every time you look at your homepage. Next, I have my personal tab watch list. Here are some photos again from Pinterest that aren't really related to this page but they look cute and they fit the theme so I just placed them here. So here are some series that I want to watch. I also placed the genre, status, and thoughts for the series. I haven't written anything yet because I haven't watched any series lately though I have lots of thoughts for nevertheless. I just stopped watching it because I personally didn't like how it was slowly turning out. And then movies, I only have one in my list for now. And then my habit tracker. This page is very simple. I just used the habit tracker template from Notion. And Notion has a lot of templates that you can choose from. And I'm going to show them to you in a bit. Cafe tab. This is actually not an important page, but this is just a list of all the coffee shops that I want to visit in the future. Okay, so this is probably the cheesiest page that I have on my Notion page, but I really like looking at it because it reminds me of my long-term goals. And then finally, for the last tab, we have the overview of everything on my Notion page. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch my simple Notion tour. I really enjoyed editing and customizing my page. And guys, the best part about this app or website is that it's totally free. And I will be leaving a link in the description box where you can sign up. So I hope you guys find this tour useful somehow. Bye!